Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Droid Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Arena Breakout Infinite is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the game so this is the game so i download the game is not available in the steam so i download from the google so uh so we're going to talk about some of the possible workaround the first one we have to restart the pc so just go over here in the game click on this one and go to this particular icon and go for restart once the restart is done just go back and try because sometimes you know a restart can fix a lot of issues so you have to try restart and that is what you have to do Moving to the next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game files which is a very important step. So hence the verify integrity is an important step you can do this at the end because you know after trying all these some minute steps you can consider the verify integrity of game file. So I'll be moving to the next step that we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from here as you can see there is an option so launch the game from here. So instead of launch the game. You can directly navigate to uh, the, uh, you know, you can navigate to the shortcut. So what you need to do is just go over here in the game setting, go to the manage, go to the installation directory. And if you check, if you check in this way, you can see that this PC local to see arena breakout infinite. So instead of launching the game from here, you can try launch the game from here itself. Let's just go to the, this PC, navigate to local to see, go to program file x86, not here. Just go to the arena breakout infinite. Now from here we have to launch the game. So try launch the game from here. This even working for many users. You can try launch the game. So instead of launch the game from the uh, application, you can try launch the game from the installation folder, which even worked. So you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That we just need to try is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So just launch the game, press Alt and Tab. So this worked for many games in the Steam and the epic games i don't know whether this is going to help you guys out but even it might help so you can try this out as well next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file so you might be launching the game and when we are trying to play the game we will be saving up so each level so if you go over here in the documents you can see we'll be having the folder like the for example i used to play american truck simulator once human rockstar games which is gt5 a lot so there is a folder for this. So similarly, you will be having a folder for the arena breakout. So if you have the folder, you have to delete the respective folder. And keep in mind, when you do this, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. So even though you'll be losing all the progressions of the game, it even helped with many users, you can try this out. So try deleting the saved game file and try launching the game. This might even work in most cases. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here, search for the control panel, search for the control panel. Now we just need to click on this one and we have to go over here in the system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow and Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Arena. We have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Arena. You have to search for the game. So uh, you'll be able to find the game over here somewhere else here. Or if you're not able to find the game, we have to search the game what it's saved. For example, let me do like this. Okay, let me go over here. So it is written, that is over here if you check the folder. So just search for the game. So Arena Breakout. So this might be somewhere else here. So if the game is not here, you don't get panic because this has to be here because hence it is an alphabet, it is not there. So we have to add the game. Most cases the game will be here. In some cases, what you have to say, it will not be here. So we have to add the game. For adding the game, just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse and navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to not here, let me do it once again, go to C, navigate to arena breakout infinite, go to the launcher. So we will be able to find the folder. So this is the folder. Select this one and we have to go for open and we have to add it. So right now the Arena Breakout Infinite Launcher is added. The next question is we have to make sure both the private and both the public. Both is marked which is a very important step. So once everything is marked just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game and that is what we have to do. 
After this, still if you're having the trouble, the next one, we have to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with all the peripherals. What do you have to say? For example, we might be connected with Logitech wheels. We might be connected. We might be connected with what do you have to say? We might be connected with Logitech wheels. We might be connected with, uh, you know, other things. So which even cause the crashing issue. So what we need to do is just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we have to launch the game and try continue playing the game. And this even work it for many users as well. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. Go for system configuration, search for the system configuration. Now we have to go over here and we have to navigate to services and go for uh, disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for okay. Now they're gonna ask you for restart. So we have to go for exit without restart, go for restart. And once the restart is done, try launch the game. And that is what we have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable uh, the steam overlay because it's not here the game is not here in the steam so we cannot do that the next one is we have to close all the overlay application so if you check over here you can see just go over here in the nav uh, and navigate to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background okay as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so all these things are actually utilizing the performance and we are having the crashing issue so we have to remove the unwanted things. For example, Epic Games launcher, sh launcher should be removed. Right? For example, Discord, Reward, Tuner, MSC, Afterburner, everything should be removed from here. Once everything is removed, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode and we have to run it as administrator. So just go over here in this PC, navigate to the game and we have to navigate to local disk C. Now we just need to navigate to the game Arena Breakout. Now we have to go to the launcher. Now from here we have to navigate to this one, right click and we have to click on this one, go to show more options, we have to navigate to the properties, we have to navigate to the compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, we have to set this to Windows 7 or we have to set this to Windows 8. So either try with Windows 7 or Windows 8, go for run this program as administrator, we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok. That is what we have to do. You can try both the, it's running as administrator or we have to run it in the compatibility mode. Close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to, uh, what we need to do run the game on dedicated graphics card. So I'll go over here, search for the graphics settings like this. Now we just need to click on this one and we have to go over here. Now we just need to add the game. So the game is not added yet, so we have to add it. So just click on the browse. Just click on the browse. Over here we have to click on the browse. That will take you to the folder. Just keep scrolling down. Go to this PC. Go to local disk C. Select the arena breakout. Now go to the engine. Go for the content. Not here. Just may go back. Go to the launcher. And we have to keep scrolling down and select the game. Go for add. Once it's added, it is here. Just click on the option. Make sure from let me windows to side, change this to high performance and save this. Close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just go over here and click on this one. And we have to navigate to the advanced, go for settings, go for advanced, go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk C. Go for the custom size and set the initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and go over here in the maximum size that is 3 times the total RAM. Now just go over here and we have to go over here in the calculator and we have to give this value. Now we just need to type 32 GB multiplied with 1024 because 32 GB is my RAM so you'll be getting this value multiplied it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it. Moving to the next one that is maximum size 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. So set the value and once every value is being done just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that we need to update all the windows. Just go over here search for the settings over here go for the settings. Now from here we have to navigate to over here the first one we just need to navigate to over here go to the windows update just make sure the windows is up to date we have to update the windows if the windows is not update we need to update it so just make sure that and also try installing the up or updating the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description for both nvidia as well as to the amd 
the nvda users has to select everything like the product type product series product operating system everything should be selected so i am on windows 11 so let me select everything and go for start search and now we have to download this particular version which is around 668.7 mb download this one and if you're on the amd just go over here and select everything like the graphics should be uh, should be selected and uh, over here we have to select this one and go for this one and this one and go for submit and you'll be getting an option the windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 download this one and also we have to download and install microsoft visual c plus plus so we have to go over here and the system is based on x64 download this one and the system is based on x86 download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here we can uninstall the game if you wanted go to the game setting there is an option go for uninstall and reinstall the game back in even work in many uses as well you can try the last and the least of we have to repair the game file because if the game file is corrupted you'll be having the crashing issue so just go over here in the game setting go to repair option so when you click on the repair as you can see it will be cross checking every single files of a game so it is going to take a little bit of time because it will be cross checking every single file and if any files are corrupted and if any files are damaged and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so we have to wait this to reach 100%
so guys as you can see it is going to take a lot of time because it's on 17 percentage so we have to wait this to reach 100 percentage and once afterwards you can try launch the game so i'll be cancelling this so once this capture is done once everything is done you can try launch the game and most probably that's gonna help you guys out so these are the possible workarounds you can done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon next video peace out bye bye peace out bye bye peace out bye bye